Hello and welcome to a new video about yeah an application, an application of our controls, a little project. Actually, I just want to try if there if I can control those LEDs. I've bought those things. Look at that. Yeah. So this is this is what I've bought. This WS2812B LEDs and they are in form of that ring. So this is how, how this looks like. Yeah. You see there are quite some LEDs, 12, yeah, 12 LEDs, and each of these LEDs can display RGB. So there's red, green and blue. If you have a look, a detailed look, I'm not sure if you yeah, almost. Yeah. You can see uh, the, the different LEDs inside this one chip. And that's not enough. Those things, they have some intelligence. So I can tell each LED which color it should, it should be lit with which color. Okay. Therefore, if we turn it over at the back, we have here a ground. We have plus five volts. So this is running on five volt. And we also have DI and DO, digital in and digital out. So all of those are located one after the other. Yeah? And yeah, with, with this one control build, pin, I can select which LED is having which color. That's it. So I need five volts. I need ground. I need a digital in. And I could use digital out to cascade more of those things. At least that's the theory. As we can see, we have to solder here. So this is what I'm going to do now. I will try to solder some wires. Edit. So. it. Now I have connected those things. Plus 5 volt ground and digital input. Those are the things I have connected. So I'll just make a little bit longer cables. Also cover with a with tin 
and call team solder and call solder it's called tin what is written here Lutin. Lutin in German. Digital in. That's it. We'll see how this is working now. Here's my Arduino. The Arduino. Mark. Then I need plus five volt. I can take it from my from my. Uh, Here we have breadboard. Here we'll get plus five volt. Hopefully, we have to adjust it afterwards. Plus five volt and ground back. We have to connect ground, of course, and digital in. Well, that's it. That's it. Uh, let's see how this is turning out, uh, if it will just blow <laughs> or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. Turn it on. Plus 5 volt. Ooh, yeah, 4.4 volt. Plus 5 volt. Good, huh? Let's see what is happening if I connect this. Okay, it's not going up in smoke, it's not getting hot. This is good, takes a little bit. And here, this digital in. I will use, which pin will I use? Three. Why not? Pin number three. And now, I think I should be able... Ooh, ground connection. Ground. Ground and ground need to be connected. Good. Now I should be able to... to control this if it's really true or not let's see let's switch to the computer so at the computer I decided to to use the fast LED library uh, I think this is a good library I hope it's a good library I've never used it but I'm using it now because I found several tutorials how to use it on, on YouTube and so I want to try it by myself. There are a bunch of good tutorials out there. So if you want to know how this WS2812B LEDs are working, have a look at other videos. I just want to try if I can manage. Huh? So actually I am using here this uh, Visual Studio with, with Visual Micro and I will add this library and I will add Fast LED library. This is good. Fast LED. Where is it? E. Ah. Include Fast LED dot H. You have to, you have to install it. Okay. You have to install it. Uh, first, 
Hashtag include, of course. Okay. Uh, then, what this LED, what this needs is we have to define the LED bin. And this LED bin, I've put it to 3. Well, I hope this is working. Define. We need how many LEDs are there. It's 12 LEDs on this ring. And we need the type because this, this fast LED uh, library is supporting several types. And we have the WS2812B type. Okay, looks good. We have defined a color order. And according to the data sheet of those things, the color order, how we, how this is transferred to the LED, because those LEDs, they are not only LEDs, they have three LEDs and they have a controller on it. And this controller expects the colors in different, and it's green, red, blue. This is the correct color order for this LED. Okay, so it expects first the data for green, then the data for red, then the great data for blue. And then we will also set the brightness. This brightness is a value between 0 and 255. I choose now 64. I think this should be enough. Okay, and now I, with the CRGB, yeah, these are the LEDs and it's an array, it's an array, with a certain length, in our case 12, 0 to 11, okay? In setup, I have to use fast LED dot adlets LEDs, this is how this is working. And then I have to give the LED type. Uh, I have to give the LED pin. Uh, I have to give the color order. And I have to hand over LEDs. I have to hand over this and how many LEDs there are. This is now defining Okay, please fast LED library. There is a certain LED tab, there's a LED bin, there is a color order, and we, we are using this array, right? And we're using uh, that amount of LEDs there. Yeah? And then we will set the brightness. Set brightness. Use the predefined constant. All right. And actually what I want to do now is that I just want to, to light up one LED just to prove that I understand how this is working. All right. So I will use a static int i and this will start at zero and I will add one and I will say uh, i percent uh, num LEDs. So then this I should always stay between zero and num LEDs minus one. Yeah? Then we have a delay. Set it high first, 1000. And now LEDs from at the position I should be CRGB. Yeah? And I will use red, green, blue, looking good, yeah? looking good. What else I have to do? Uh, I have to show it, yeah? fast LED dot show. Then we should see this color. Okay? Then we are delaying 1000. Then we set it to zero again, so we turn it off. 
and we also say show. So that's good. This should do the trick. This should do the trick. Display one red LED. Just switch there. Yeah. Display one red LED somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah. And yeah, okay. So upload the sketch. Five volts. There we have it. Now we should see. We see. Ah! Ah! Oh. Maybe I turn a little bit, tune a little bit down the, the uh, brightness. Here you see our red LED changing from position to position. This is exactly, this is exactly uh, what we've coded, right? So this is exactly what we've coded here. Let's make, let's try to make it a little bit faster. So let's try to say, uh, I don't know, 50 milliseconds only wait. Upload. Then this red LED should turn faster. And it does. All right. And if I just, if I do not want to have it red, but maybe a little bit green also, so this should give yellow color. It should, it should display yellow color, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. It's working. It's working. Good. So this is how you can control a single LED at a single position. And of course, it would be nice if this would have some stripe or something like this. But before I've read something, what I've done wrong here, what I've done wrong here. Yeah. So what, what, what is the, what is the thing I've done wrong here? This line, yeah, this should not go directly to to the outlet. There should be a resistor in between, and we should also set a buffer, a buffer uh, capacitor in between because this prevents pikes. You see, it's working. Yeah, but there are pikes, uh, peaks, uh, voltage peaks on this line, which might destroy this. So it's commonly recommended to use a resistor for damping and a, a, a transistor, a uh, transistor, a resistor and a capacitor to to level these peaks. I will try now to do this. Yeah. So let's switch. All right. So uh, first power down. Power down. Then I will use the power line. Go here, or the data line goes here. Then we have a resistor going here. Then I have to use. I'll use a green cable that the color fits. So it is three we said. Yeah. And here. So here we have now the series resistor. And here, usually they say it should be 100 micro. I only have uh, 1000 microfarad. I only have 100 microfarad, but I guess it's better than nothing. You have to check the polarity, yeah, because otherwise it will be smelly. This thing will explode. So plus and minus, you have to check plus and minus. Okay, see if this is still working. Power on. No, not smelling. Power on. We should see here the LED turning again. Hopefully, yes. Yes. It's working. It's working. Okay. So this is how this is really working. 
Now, you know, the rest is up to you. Yeah? How it looks like. I will try to make some little fancy stuff in next video so that we can you know that this is turning and have some comet-like tail. Yeah? But for now, for this time, We've seen it's not really a big deal. Apply power, apply data, that's it. Huh? This is, and use the correct library, and this is working. How it is working and why is it working, like I said, there are tons of videos out there. I'm not going to repeat this. Huh? If you're really interested in. You see, I have never done this before, huh? and I managed in, I don't know, half an hour, this. You can do too. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.